A special thanks to Grand Cash Slots for sponsoring today's video. Grand Cash Slots is a real Las Vegas casino game that you never want to miss. With over 100 slot machines available, you can get huge rewards, free spins, and bonus rounds. Now the welcome coins are super huge, which helps you start the game easily. Now Grand Cash Slots offers a diverse range of themes and gameplay options. Each machine is designed with attention to detail, providing a visually rich experience that complements the excitement of the game. Now I love that there are new slot machines that are constantly being added so I always have fun and I never get bored. There are collections, events, and bonus games to entertain you with interesting challenges and there's even a VIP system to get extra rewards and a weekly bonus. Now I have many favorites but I love Oswald and Dragon Dance. The Oswald game features classic battle gameplay which is fun and exciting and Dragon Dance utilizes a classic combination of the fortune wheel and friend, inviting players to experience the traditional Asian style culture. All right guys, so I love Grand Cash Slots and I know you will too. So click on the link down in the description below. You can download through the App Store or also Google Play. Don't delay, download Grand Cash Slots today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tori. It's your boy Travis. And do you hear that? Do you hear the sound of that? A bird? No, it's the sound of freedom. <laughs> anyway guys, so. <laughs> Basically, what she's saying is we don't have no kids right now. That's what we don't have any kids right now. Um, we're actually, I want to say, I was going to say like a date day, but we're actually on like a we're, date. We're actually on a lunch date right now. We're on a lunch date right now, but yeah, but um, we are taking a couple of days off, Travis and I, um, and just we just want to bond. We want to go and do something fun. We're just taking a few days out of our schedule to just basically, what's the word? Relax. Relax, yeah, because we've been working really hard lately. And um, so my mom said, you know, I want to come up and see the kids anyway. So we're like, perfect. This is the perfect timing because Travis has a lot of stuff he's got to do next week. A lot of work he's got to do. So I said, this is the perfect timing to just bond. Right now we're eating our firehouse subs <laughs> in a car. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a video. Because a lot of times we... Uh, have the kids and that's great. We love the kids obviously having them, but uh, you know Sometimes we want to just film without them just Travis and I like the good old days guys I know if you guys have been following us for a long time remember But we got our start on on YouTube just he and I when we were dating how many years ago? Five years ago now I think four four years ago four or five years ago now. So anyway We so all here blends together Hey, I'm saying that's a good thing. I mean, you know, what I mean if you if you remember it like Oh my gosh, it's been this long, then you got a problem. But when it blends together, it's like smooth. I don't think we ever really eat on camera. We do sometimes, but we haven't done it in a minute. Well, I don't like the way and, I and, eat. And we don't even care. Yeah, neither do I, but y'all got it. If you guys like us, you're going to watch You're going to watch Sometimes I eat like a pig, and it's like, I hate that about myself. But anyway, you know what? I'm the type of girl who goes on a date, and, well, before you, of course. Mm. And you know how some women, when they go on dates, they're all like, ooh, all proper, and they like order a salad or hey. order something that they can't get messy by eating. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I'm the girl who orders like barbecue wings, um, orders, uh, uh, what is it, a hot dog or something messy that gets your fingers dirty? That's me. Mm hmm. Yeah. I do not mind eating. <laughs> I just don't. So, that's me. So, do you guys eat firehouse subs or do you have a firehouse subs near you? Yeah. So, this is kind of like Tori's favorite, not sandwich shop, but like kind of like fast food. You know what I mean? Like, just mm -hmm. go grab a, instead of Subway, I guess Subway type, you know, sandwich or whatever. Mm -hmm. She loves getting the chicken bacon ranch from yeah. firehouse subs. It's so good. I love it. I don't like mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I don't like mustard. Mm -hmm. I don't like onions. I don't like mushrooms. Anything that has like I, I don't know and I'm actually glad I don't because mayonnaise has a bunch of calories and a bunch of Honestly, I think the reason I don't like it Why? is because whenever you order it from somewhere else, they always just like Like just put a whole bunch like if you, if you say hey, yeah, mayonnaise on my on my sandwich They just squeeze a whole bunch on And you usually that. get a sandwich and it's messy and it's just mayonnaise everywhere or whatever And it's just I don't know it's just too much so I just I don't, even, don't even want it I don't know if you guys know where we live, but we live in Austin, Texas. And um, ever so often, we kind of, um, we like to go up to Dallas. Um, 
because you know it's just a lot I feel like there's a lot to do up there and like I just like the atmosphere the vibe and everything so I was like I'm gonna go up there for a few days and kind of hang out um I have been talking to Travis lately and I kind of want you your guy you guys opinion on it okay I told Travis I said you know what I kind of wanted to get my nose pierced mm, I am we've been talking about that I want to get my nose pierced I don't know how I'm gonna look because my sister has her nose pierced. But but the only thing that's stopping her is because, like, it leaves a scar. So she's like, I don't know if I want to, if I, if I want it to leave a scar. I don't know so, if it leaves a scar. I think it leaves, um, not a like scar. Like an indention? Like an indention. Yeah, like if that. You, if you ever pull it out. That That's what I heard. <laughs> now, I don't know, guys. Comment down below for those of you who have your nose pierced, um... Or had it pierced, like really, does it actually leave an indentation? So let's say I don't want it anymore. I say, hey, I don't really want my nose pierced anymore. Am I going to regret it because I have it a hole in my nose? I don't know. I really been thinking about it. I just want to switch it up a little bit. I'm not going through some sort of midlife it, crisis. It's a, I'm mid only, it's a midlife crisis, and that's I'm only what happens. 30, that's what not happens. A, how is a midlife crisis? Thirty-three, babe? sexy. It happens at thirty-three. Yes, it does. Do you're women go through a midlife crisis? Yeah, you're going through it. I thought that was the only thing men mm -mm. went through. It's a, it's a woman thing. It's okay. You got to get through it. You got to do some things like that to get through it. Because I get my nose pierced. Mm -hmm. It's a midlife crisis. How? It's a midlife crisis. Okay. Any, so you don't like the idea? Oh no, I don't really care. It's up to you. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not piercing my nose. See, like back in the day, people would pierce their tongues, and I was like, uh-uh. Well, Tupac pierced his nose. He was <laughs> great with it. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, back <laughs> back, back in the day, that that's what people did, and I was like, nah. So you don't know. want to pierce your nose? Heck no. I think you look amazing with it. No, I ain't piercing my nose. I ain't piercing my tongue. I did pierce all my, like, my ears. I got I got four piercings in my ears. Oh, my God. I, but I did it myself. I basically, I basically just stuck frozen stuff. I basically froze my earlobes. And then you stick it through. Pow. You did your own? Yeah, I did all four of them, yeah, on myself. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because, I mean, why? Why not? Okay, guys, I gotta tell I gotta tell you this story then, since he's telling his story about piercing his own ears. So when I was younger, I was like 16 or 17. No, I may, I might have been 15. Okay, I think it was, I was yeah, it was maybe 15. Oh, man. Um, I wanted a belly button piercing so badly, and of course I knew that um, my parents would never take me, obviously, because I was like 15. And I don't even think they know this. My parents don't even know this. They well, I guess now. they do now. <laughs> but when I was younger, I pierced my own belly button. What I did was I took a, um, what do you call those things you close? You do the clothes pins. I would, see, I would never do that. I know, I'm, never. Dude, I was 15, okay? Uh -uh. That was so many years ago. Okay, so I took like a clothes pin. And you know, the obviously the, the pointy part in the clothes pin, I pushed it down into my belly button or whatever the top the top of my belly button and I pushed it down and pushed it down and kept doing it until it opened up and then I, I inserted a um I inserted a a whatever it's called the, the piercing that earring whatever not earring what's it called the belly button ring the belly button ring <laughs> and that's what I did and the craziest thing happened like a couple months later it got Don't, infected no 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 it did, was fine did you actually clean it yeah I cleaned it oh, and everything okay. But the craziest thing happened. I was putting on my belt, or I think I might have been taking off my belt. I was taking off my belt. And when I took off my belt, it had caught a hole to the belly button ring. Because, by the way, a long time ago, the belly button rings were, were dangly. That's, that was, like, the style. They were dangly. They weren't this, like, loop thing. It was dangly. So the, it, it, it was dangly, and it dangled, and it caught a hole in my belt, and I ripped it out. And to this day, to this day, I have the scar. And what's crazy is because when I was actually 18 or 19, I actually re-got it pierced. Like, I, I pierced it again, like, by a professional. And that one started getting affected. Uh, and so now to this day, and I will show you guys, but I'm not going to. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a, a big scar there. It's not big, but I can see it. Yeah. And that is why you don't pierce your own belly button. That is why you don't pierce your own belly button. And I'm going to show Winter and Breeze this one day and say, this is why you don't do things you wait until you're i get why there's like a uh age, age limit, limit. you gotta be this age absolutely man. because when that. you're 12 13 14 15 16 even 17 you make really dumb decisions that you regret forever and now this scar is going to be on me forever because i decided to be stupid and i wanted to be grown at an early age because i saw hey you know my sister has one and but you know she's four years older than me but 
I followed that path, but I tried to do it myself. And so, anyway, more of a story is don't try to be too cool because later on in life, you're going to regret it. And I, and I look at it. I have to see this scar every day. But it's so crazy because seeing this scar reminds me of just more. It's, it's like a bigger story. It's a broader story than just don't pierce your own belly button. It's like don't make dumb decisions because you have to live with them. And every day I look in the mirror, I, it reminds me of just don't make dumb decisions. All right, here comes the traffic. It's like interesting because one of the ways you know you're basically in Dallas or Fort Worth area is the traffic. <laughs> it's like, hello, welcome. I mean, I know we have traffic in Austin, but it's just like, ugh. 24 miles an hour on the highway? Yeah, that's just beautiful. Well, we're at the uh, outlet mall right now because I'm gonna try to get some new shoes today. Um, and we don't know where we are in terms of the outlet mall and it's completely empty here, so. I don't know, we're gonna try to find some shoes. We're gonna come back once we get to the place. Would I rock those? No. No, but they're you cute. Could. I know, but they're cute, baby. So am I really like the cute type of shoe wearing guy? Well, no, these are for women, but I'm just saying. That's what I'd be rocking, y'all. Could you see? Well, look what I'm rocking right now. See, uh, you yeah, bought I like me this. these. I know, I bought this for you. Okay, but would you would you like when I rock something like this? Yeah, you should do it. I mean, they're go for it. 94, 94 99 No, no, they're, they're fifty percent off. No, they're buy one get oh, one fifty. Oh, buy one get two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep looking. You know me, I love buying black shoes. That's like my fave. Because if you get them dirty, it's a lot harder to get them dirty. You should get these. I like these. Those are cute. Huh? See, this is stuff that you like to wear, though. I know. Like, well, I mean, I wouldn't wear that kind. You have a pair like this. Kind of like that, but not that color. Yes, I do have those shoes. Yeah. I like more See, like... athletic wear type shoes. Uh-huh. Right here. What? Simple. You have those? No, I have these, but in the men's section. I have these, but like the the yeah, guy. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, you do have those. those yeah, cute. the guy version of those. Yeah. Yeah. See, you definitely like those type of shoes. I really love these kind of shoes. Ninety dollars. Why? <laughs> am I tripping? Is that... I'm such a cheapie. Why am I like this? Is, isn't this supposed to be? Isn't this supposed to be an outlet? Look at these. These supposed to be an outlet. But... Oh, Cloud Foam Comfort. You know I'm always sold in the Cloud Foam Comfort. Hey, all you have to do is Google because I'm pretty sure the price match. Come on, baby, get in the game. Get your head. Price in the game. match. Yeah, they'll, they'll price match. These are actually kind of cool. I'm, I'm gonna try these on. Get your head in the game. Those? You like them? I mean, if if you do, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you don't like any of my choice of shoes. I think I, you bought me something like this a long time ago. Mm-hmm. You, you did. You know I mean, what? I you know what? You I don't think they have your size. Size. Maybe I'm tripping, but this is supposed to be like an outlet, and dude, these are like pretty high prices for an outlet. Like I'm pretty sure these Vans right here, you can get them cheaper, seventy four ninety nine. You can get those cheaper in, at Vans. Hey babe. Yeah. I kind of feel like this place is marked up. You know what? Because like literally, I saw a pair of Vans for seventy. Babe, tell me why this was in my hair. <laughs> I had guys. I, I had my hair in a, a little thing. I don't know if you saw, like a little bun or whatever, messy bun. And this is what I use to tie it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Even when the kids are not with me, they're with me because I have their bow in my head. So funny. I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, so yes, I think this place is a little bit marked up. Dude, uh, dude, I saw a pair of Vans for seventy four, and like Vans are like sixty dollars. Do you 60. think we should get out of here? I mean, unless you want to play over over. Price, prices. These are only forty nine ninety nine. These are cute. Okay, see, I mean, you gotta find a deal, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, but the thing is, they don't have eight and a half. Well, let's see right here. There's eight. You want to try eight? I could try it. It doesn't hurt. See, this is more of my speed. Four nine nine nine. That's more of what I want to pay. Yeah, but see, they, they ain't got your Travis, size. Travis, you're the big spender. Travis likes to spend five hundred eighty six thousand dollars on shoes, Come and on. I don't. I like to spend nothing on shoes. Like these shoes that I have on right now. He, he's, he paid $200 for these. I would never, how much you pay for these? Something like that? Right, I would never pay $200 for a pair of shoes. Why? Because I don't care about shoes enough to do that. But see, dude, dude them are fire. They're so, they're so comfy, but they're super comfy, right? They are super comfy, though. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I Okay, saw well, them. they don't have it, babe. Is this my sign not to buy anything? Okay, so there's a Bucky's over there. I don't know if you guys can see this from here. But comment down below, have y'all ever been to Bucky's? That's like a staple here in Texas. We love our Bucky's over there. All right, guys, so we just got to our hotel. It's actually really nice. Of course, I like to do my little cleaning check to make sure everything is good. And it is. Um, 
we didn't really get like a view this time but you know what who cares doesn't really matter that's our view <laughs> i'm like i don't even know why people care about views in hotels because like when do you ever sit and just stare at the window you know what i mean it's kind of weird but anyway so this is the room it's really roomy in here actually it's really nice it's clean i gotta do my bed check All okay right. guys so we are doing bed bug check right now so well we're not doing bed bug Pray. check we're doing is anything on the bed check okay so what i like to do hey let, let's turn some lights on in this place hold up is there any lights available? I don't know. How do you turn the lights on? I don't know. Um. <laughs> You're like this, and I look and say, okay, you know, there's nothing on the bed. I'm gonna tell you about this one time we stayed at a hotel, guys. No joke. I moved the covers off the bed like I did now. Just, you know, hey, just check. And the whole, I am not joking. This, I can't make this up. The whole section here was the color orange. Like literally in just one section. Just this one, where obviously someone will lay in their butts here, it was orange. And I was like, what the heck? Like, surely the housekeeper, or get, oh, I think it's called housekeeper, right? They would have seen that when they were making the beds. So I was just like, what the heck? So I called the customer service department or whatever, and I said, hey, guys, can you change the sheets because it's orange? And I am not kidding you. They Tell me why they came in, changed the sheets. And the sheets were dirty. And the sheets were dirty, and this time... They had blood on them. I was like, what is going on? So I take this very seriously. Comment down below if you guys do this. If you're like checking, checking, checking. I mean, I'm, I'm not a stickler for this, but it's just like, who wants to sleep on sheets where blood are on? I don't know, not me. So anyway, I'm gonna check your and section. I'm not gonna name drop the hotel guys, no, but. No, not gonna name drop. So your section looks really good too. So this looks to our liking. It's clean, it's nice. So we're good. I think that's your first step is actually checking your sheets. Well, you, okay, you also need to pull up like right here, like Why? the corners. What does that mean? See? <gasps> Look at this. That's what you need to check for, oh. guys. Do you see that right there? What the? F what is that? Dude, are you that's, serious? That's why you pull up and you check stuff like this. Don't touch what, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just touched it. No, oh, I, I didn't touch it. No, let me see this. Look what, at this guy. What the? Are you serious? Yeah, we're definitely going to get a new room. What? You're better at stuff like this than I am. Hold on, I'm gonna come look over here. This side's good. This down here, well, you probably see how dirty that is compared to up here. See how clear? Can you come down here? Yeah, is it possible that we can, I don't know if it's called housekeeping or not, or for you guys, but is it possible that we can get someone to see that? come in? Oh my goodness, that's so funny. We were just checking the room, and who like, knew? And we did you show them the bathroom? Yeah, but, but it we, was dirty. Yeah, we were like so confident that this room was clean too, because this it's always been good. But I was I just, just did not expect that at all. I don't think they really clean these rooms. I don't. Well, but you know what? Hopefully we get a new room. Hopefully they put us in something better that was this actually clean because this hotel we're not gonna name drop and we're not gonna price drop. Just say that it's it was a costly. Okay, not it's more than we would want to pay. All right, so it looks like we're going to get a new room, the fun which is begins, great. Yes. The fun begins, and uh, we'll be back once we have a new room. Ah! Oh. All right, guys, so we are in our new room. <laughs> we're gonna do this bed check thing one more time, and look, we actually got kind of a cool view this time. We got the pools, which is really cool. So hey, look, we end up getting a nicer view this time. Woohoo! Oh, oh, clean. So far, so good. Taps. Clean, clean. Oh my goodness, we're, they've got a winner. I think they're calling us, guys. Hello. Good, Sheila. How you doing? It's great. We appreciate you uh, taking care of us. But yeah, we're, we're, we're good to go over here. All right, thanks so much. Bye. That okay. was very nice. That was very nice. She wanted, on us. she wanted to make sure our room was good. And it is. It's yep. good. All right, guys. Well, she said, hey, Sheila. She's like, hey, this is Sheila down at VIP. I was like, what's up, Sheila? <laughs> Everything is good. We're going to start our little three-day vacation here. We're going to be staying in this hotel. So um, we're going to have a good time. Uh, we're going to come out with more videos probably being here. Maybe we may do some 
date night stuff if you guys are interested in seeing it comment down below um because it's kind of cool you know we're, we're always doing videos with the kids and that's great and that's wonderful we love doing videos with kids but sometimes you know just like old times you know when it just used to be Travis and I are doing our thing when we first start dating. Um, we're gonna do more of that kind of stuff because we love doing stuff like this, just kind of hanging out. Of course, we know the road would be bad. Do you know what, babe? I'd go and stay in a garbage can if it still meant me being next to you. Well, then, why, then why'd you say something? Because <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't know why did I say because I don't know I just feel like when you pay for something like you gotta get you gotta get it gotta be nice like yeah. you can't be paying for something and they and then it's like dirty and stained up mm -hmm. and trashy like you gotta, you know you gotta get what you pay for and so mm -hmm. anyway that, that is true but we're gonna get up out here guys so we do um we do love you guys but we want to enjoy mommy and daddy time so we're yeah. gonna get up out of here yeah but um hope you guys enjoyed this video mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna try and bring a few more videos while we're here just of us doing random things mm -hmm. uh we'll shoot at least one more video so guys be on the lookout for that don't forget to click on the link in the description below to check out grand cash slots it's super amazing fun game i love playing it i know you guys will too anyway don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and also follow us on tiktok instagram facebook um, and yeah, I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.